Okay, reconnection of Cecil, are you sure? <laughs> you're just you're just gonna keep giving me a hard time there, OBS? I, this is a, it's especially annoying because this is just supposed to be a short stream. I was just gonna like just knock down the, a couple of objectives and then and then move on with my life, and uh, it's just slowing things down by just crash and giving these air messages and stuff. Wait, this is oh okay oh it's here. So the bell's ringing again. <sighs> so is this a sludge I can... Okay. You acquired the clavicle of Dalhuisen, the school child. Okay. They searched for him for days until they found Mark's remains in the woods. Since then, rumors tell of demons riding on the backs of flying goats coming from faraway lands. It's, uh, it's kind of hardcore. Hmm. Did I hear the bell go again? Oh, really? Okay, hold on. There's more stuff here, so I need um, to take this guy out and this guy out. So I can put this one in and this one. So I can freely jump and use these things and... Oh, another secret. Like, I wouldn't have been able... To, even if I... Haha, uh -huh, not a professor rope. Even if I found this at the beginning of the game, I would not have been able to get in here because I didn't have the red sparkly thingy or the nail uprooted from dirt. Okay. Anyway, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't. I think it's the same as before. Um, shoot, what am I doing? Right. Okay. Put thingy, these things back uh, to. Um, oh yeah. Um, I want to have all these things in at once. Why? Do, why am I restricted to three of them? I don't know. Because it occurs to me that I, there there are probably some corpses that I've missed that I can talk to, and then bleh, whatever. Anyway. Okay, so that's another bone found. What else? There's Cox of Daniel the Possessed, Cox of June the Prostitute, Femur Carpa, Fibula, Fibula of Risp. Do I have Fibula of Risp? I have a Fibula. Which 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 Fibula do I have? I've forgotten which Fibula. I, I, I think I think there are multiples of some bones. So yeah, I have Fibula of Risp. Frontal of Martinus, the rate, oh, rope maker. Humorous of McMittens? Humorous of McMittens? I don't remember the name McMittens. Oh, okay, I have that. High bone, jaw of uh, Ashken the Inquisitor. Okay, this is jaw. It's a highway bone. I believe the technical term would be mandible, not jaw, but whatever. Yeah, because that does look like a mandible to me. It's in the Wall of the Holy Prohibitions. So back there again. Okay. Yeah, and like as you see, like these these are secret secrets that like I I wouldn't have found on my own. Like, but okay. I mean, now, okay. Now that I have the little bell ringy thingy that that informs me of secrets presence. Uh, then sure, I could. I could eventually find it if I just searched blindly around. But that's 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 just boring to watch. Like, like I I, I would rather figure things out on my own. Um, 
Sorry, what am I looking at? Where, where am I looking here? It's... Okay, so even looking at the map, I, I'm getting myself confused. Can I... can I... I can, okay, okay. Get the map properly here. Um... Okay, so it shows up yellow on the map. That's why I was like... Okay, they've got a different they've got a different palette on their map there because that looks yellow there but it looks brown here whatever okay okay I think I know where I'm going so back up here again why does he keep doing that well that's weird I'm just trying to climb down the ladder here dude <sighs> okay. You didn't. Does he have to do it from higher up in order to get that effect? Okay, I guess so. And, and you know, like the guy's dead before I even finish the combo, so it's like, let's see, what even is the point? Oh well. Anyway, um, bone fragment is this way. Let's get that mandible. It's here. Is it through the store? I went through the store already. Is there a secret? A secret I missed? Oh. Oh, okay. Um. Right! Oh, I didn't mark this, but yeah, I needed the, um... Did I... I'm listening... Just in case there's a bell ringing sound, okay. I don't know, I think, I think it's, it's just, uh, okay. So I have to take this out, and this out, and this out. You need, you need three of them here. You need, you need to be able to... The red sparklies, I need... The, the the root thing to come out, and I also need the miasma protection. So I I would not have been able to get this until late game anyway, because you need all that stuff. Well, I mean, miasma protection isn't as important, that, but the yeah. Anyway, jaw of Ashgan the Inquisitor. Ashgan desperately sought answers for his creed through torture. Even condemning members of the priesthood, he found nothing but regret in his actions. But I thought their religion is all about, uh, you know, pain and suffering and all that. And, you know, punishing people for guilt and blah blah blah. Oh, but so, since he's, he's doing it to priests, suddenly it's not allowed? Ha. Huh. Something something hypocrisy. Anyway, um, just get these things out of here. Uh, put, put these ones back in, I guess. Okay. Um, like, I obviously went through that door, like, it's open. But for some reason, I didn't mark it. I should have marked it. Oh well. Anyway, uh, what else is there? Kneecap Sebastian, Lunate of Kea. Maxilla of Teradax the Cleric. Do I have a Maxilla in my collection? Do I have a Max? I, I, I seem to remember there being a Maxillary bone in here somewhere. Cox Escapeway. Maxilla of Teradax the Cleric. Okay. How does Black Sword is a Vixio the Traveler? I think I have that one. Nasal Bone, Navicular. Okay, Nasal Bone of Charles, Navicular of Canny with the Murderer? Do I have a Navicular Bone of. Yeah, okay, there it is. Prilateal Bone of Blast for the Inquisitor. I'm, try, I'm trying. I'm scrolling the mouse wheel. Uh, I'm rolling the mouse wheel on, on the window over here and it's making things roll on the game. <laughs> 
Phoenix of King, Phoenix of Arthur, Phoenix of Brandon, Phoenix of Miriam, Phoenix of William. Is that five phalanxes? Or phalanges, I should say. Two, three, four, five. There's theoretically there's supposed to be five phalanges apparently. I guess one for each finger. Bran the Gravedigger, Arthur the Sailor. That's one, two, three. I think I might be missing uh, a phalanx. There's four, five. Okay, no, I have all five of them. It's. I don't. S oh, okay. Oh, there are more than five. Never mind. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't scroll. I didn't scroll down far enough. There's six of them. Gosh darn it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Back up. Let's let's count these again. I just want to be sure. Okay, one, two, three, you can, you can watch me figure this out in real time. <laughs> uh, four, five. Aha, I'm missing, I am missing a phalanx. <sighs> Which phalanx am I missing? Mm -hmm. Errol Karam, the archivist. So there's, so there's Brandon, Arthur. Are these in alphabetical order? Okay, that, that makes it a little easier, I think. I mean, they aren't in alphabetical order over here. <sighs> okay, so I got Brandon and Arthur. Do I have Errol Karam here? That's Miriam. The one down here was Zeth. There's Errol Karam. They got Eric Cam, Arthur, Brandon, Miriam. William is the one that I'm missing. Right? I didn't see if one that says failings of Miriam. Yeah, this is why I was kind of dreading this part of the game, because I, I was like, uh, it's, it's like Like how do I know which one I've missed? There's so many of them. I've I've been to so I've been all over the map. Anyway, while the all the provisions. Oh hey, I'm in the same area. That's convenient. Let's just, uh, just need to go the other way here. Is this another door that I neglected to mark? I wonder. Okay, it's, it's playing the bell ring sound. Through the door again? I'm just curious. I don't think it's. I don't think it's, this is what I'm looking for, but I'm just curious. Okay. Um, I think whatever was there, I already got. I don't hear the bell ringing here. Do I need to go up? Is it above me? I have to whack the. Uh... Seriously? So I guess this is it then. There you go, Warden of the Ossuary, achievement unlocked. Phalanx of William the Skeptic. William Graff devoted his life to exposing charlatans and deceitful evangelists. He even questioned the sanctity of certain members of the custodian church. His heresy was not forgiven. freedom of speech in this world, I guess. Not allowed to criticize the priesthood, you're not allowed to apparently you're just you're just gonna you're just gonna get punished for it. 
Okay. All right. Cool. So now that that's done, that's that's it. That's all of them. Let's, let's heck and go. Let's find out what my big fat reward is for collecting all those darn things. I spent the entire gosh darn game collecting. Can you walk through there? No? Okay, just curious. Alright, Mr. Bones. Mr. Ossuary. Got the last of them. They're still buried in bone dust for whatever reason. You acquired Tears of Atonement. Yay? Okay, some more money. At least I have something to spend it on now. New aspect available in the main menu. Aspect locked warden of the ossuary. Cool. Um, yeah, apparently when it says aspect available, it means I um, I can like change my skin, like change colors, basically. It's oh, okay. the ossuary is now complete. So my mission here has ended. <laughs> no. I will no longer watch over the bones. It is they who will now watch over me <laughs> in this tomb of pale and merciful ash. May their peace be with you, penitent one. Is that it? Do I not get any kind of reward or anything? I mean, you already opened this thing earlier. I thought that this place is, is going to open up when I... Uh, uh, when I completed the, the bone thing, but it opened up early, so I'm like... Is there going to be a thing for me to collect over here? I, I had a feeling when he was going to be like buried in bone dust when I came back. That's seriously it? Like he's just he's just buried in bone dust and he's dead now and that's all I got. I just we can visit one more time just in the off chance that there's. It's like, nope. He just spent the game getting increasingly buried every time I came back there, and now he's completely buried. So, that's it, I guess. Okay, then. Um, yeah, this thing in the library of the neighbors. What is this about? Um... I don't even know. I don't even know what search terms to use. I'll just I'll bring up library the negated words first, I guess, and then uh, I don't know. Maybe I should search for books. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you know what? Before I, before I even do that, Teleport over to uh, Miss Beads, Miss Miss Rosary. I do believe this is the last uh, upgrade I can get for the uh, for that. Hello. Got to give another rosary rope. Yep. She been locked in Kaisia. Yeah. Yep. There's the last one. New rosary mystery available. Woo. Mysteries of your rosary are now complete. My task is complete. 
or will my sins of now become unforgivable as a result? What? Why? Um, okay. I mean, I guess the, I get the feeling the tangent one is going against the church of the world, so maybe, maybe that's what she means, like, she's, um, she's, uh, because by helping me, she, she's, she's, uh, um, uh, going against the church, too. Hmm. I do not know where I will go, but I am sure that it will not. Yikes. That was a little dramatic. Okay. Um, Alright. If I go off and come back on here, do I get a new thing? No? Okay, just checking. Since that other area in the previous uh, session did give me something new by when I, when I went off and came off again, came on again. Uh, anyway, I should be able to get that last upgrade there now. Wrath of the Twisted One. Right. Hooray. What does that look like? Oh, it has a ranged attack to it now. That's kind of neat. It, it, it's a range attack which doesn't cost anything except time. Like this, this attack uses up fervor, but yeah, okay, cool. All right. Um, okay, let me just consult the wiki again. Um, do 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 do. So bones are all collected. Do we really not get anything else? Um, Collectibles are backer designed items found across custodia. Collectibles can can brought to the author as it's gotta be a typo. Uh break the right while the lowest uh, for the kids was willing to get there and for two's atonement. Collecting all awards the warden of the Osiris skin and achievement. So yeah, that's it. Achievement and new skin. That's all I get. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, okay. So, um, how about these books? <laughs> like, um, do 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 do. Okay. What, what's up with those books? What's that about? Okay. What even is that? Okay. Anatomy books puzzle. Okay, so it is a puzzle. And there's a puzzle that will reveal a secret room when solved. Okay, you know, let's. Okay, before I read any further, maybe I should just take a moment to see if I can solve it. Let's just.
to, I tried to do this. I tried to do the spinny move by holding down and he climbed down the ladder instead. Oh well. Okay, so, um. Is this the. Peaches and Sage the Femur. Okay, because, like, I've got bones in my, you know, collectibles. I, I can't use them for things, like. Like, is this kind of thing where, like, I, I can't interact with these things except by reading them. Um, like, am I supposed to interact with them in a certain order, maybe? Like, I don't know, the order that I pick up the bones in, or... Illustration of femur. Now you look open the page. Which was, was the illustration of a tibia. I don't know. I'm lost. Like, is this a re is this really clever thing that I'm, I'm just being really dense about, or is there something I'm supposed to do? Hmm. hmm. I don't know. I mean, there have been enough instances in this game of, okay, this is dumb. I never would have figured that out. Um, that that I, I just, maybe I should uh, just, just give up on this notion of trying to figure it out on my own. Okay, well, I, I'm just going to read it. I'm just going to read what it says. Uh, it's, I mean, the alternative is to sit here for an hour puzzling it out when I probably won't figure it out. Um, okay. There's a puzzle that will reveal secret room when solved. The three open books give the first clue. Anatomy pictures of femur, tibia, and kneecap. Within the descriptions of those collectibles will be the second clue. Okay. Well, I read the description. That was the first thing I did was read the descriptions. And I'm like, I don't know what this tells me. Dear Bounty Hunters, sir, get rid of everything and you'll have nothing to lose. Is, like, am I supposed to, like, unequip everything? Perhaps? Like, is that what it is? <sighs> oh, right. I don't have anything ready. <laughs> to be at the Predia in order to uh, un unready my uh, unready this guy.
Okay, so if I have everything unequipped, is that is that does that do anything? Is that what it means? Oh, okay. So what's in here? Get rid of everything you left on your list. Be be fervent. That is a secret, and I and I forbid you to. Move. Oh, found it by accident just by holding still. I forbid you to move. But yeah, get get rid of everything, and you'll have nothing to lose. Be fervent. That is the secret. So, like, I guess I have to I have to have full fervor. I forbid you to move. I just had to hold still. Okay. Yeah. Remove all equipped items, fill the fervor bar to the maximum, and stand still. The doorway will open to the right inside the room. Okay, okay. Huh. Alright. That's, that's kind of neat. What the? Unwavering devotion? Achievement unlocked? Sir, what did I get? New prayer? Prayer to the sanguine mists? Fruit of true fervor. Vapors of holy blood emerge from the skin of the pendant one, damaging those who cross them. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Burning blood that you breathe through my body. Bl blood of red wine, blood of black wine, emerge from my skin, emerge from my bones. Okay, so what does this do? Oh! It's the, uh... <laughs> it's the, um... What do you call it? Defender's Crest. <laughs> you emit a, a heroic odor. <laughs> sure, accelerate bioplast use, why not? Um... The one that just dodging pull down. I don't know. I had these in for a while. Resell to Fez of Fast Run Empty? Sure, why not? Increase speed? Sure, why not? I don't know. I'm just picking stuff sort of at random here. What does this do? Immaculate bead. It doesn't. This, this, there's got to be some secret behind this. This is like the the one little charm on the list, which it doesn't seem to do anything. Like its description doesn't indicate that it does anything. <clears throat> Simple bead devoid of purpose. Proceeds to never this out by four fingers. Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah. What's all this? Acquired in the graveyard of the peaks in the same room as the confess statue. Equip the immaculate bead until it is engulfed in guilt after a few deaths. Allows entering the portals left by the destroyed statues of confessors. What? Is required for the true ending? Wait, really? Seriously? So apparently I was just supposed to have this equipped and then die with it and then... I mean, I consider just putting this thing in and just seeing what happened. But there are always more useful things to have in. Apparently this is what's needed for the true ending, and I'm, 
Have to go deliberately die now? <laughs> when the penitent one dies, erring in his penance, a guilt fragment is anchored to the world in the world. The weight of guilt accumulates and reduces the gain of fervor and tears of atonement, as well as the maximum fervor. Collecting guilt fragments reverts the status, and the statues can have to serve the same purpose for a fee. Statues can be destroyed, and a portal appears in their place to a mini dungeon with waves of enemies. Defeat the enemies to receive tears of atonement and, and evolve the thorn. Requires weight. Wait, what? Requires weight of true guilt to enter after destroying the statues. To get this item, equip the immaculate bee until they're gone. Because it goes after exactly three deaths. What? Wh okay, weight of... What? 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 <laughs> weight of true guilt. Is that, is that one of the... Uh... Weight of sin, weight of justice, consecration. Okay, I thought my first thought was that it was, it was that, that was the name of one of these things. What is weight of true guilt? Like, this is stuff that I, I um, like you know, like I've explored everywhere, I've I've searched everywhere, but I'm, there's all this stuff. Um, Oh, okay, weight of the true guilt is the new name of the immaculate bead after you uh, after you die. Okay, um, you know I did say this is going to be a short stream. Um, maybe I'll investigate that another time. Um, it's been over an hour. I mean, this is necessarily going to have to be split up into three recordings apparently because. Uh, uh, OBS keeps crashing. Um. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Forgot I had that open. Uh, I meant to... to have this guy in. Oh, I can't... It's at 99% of the map explored now. That that just crossed that threshold. Um, so yeah, but apparently these these guilt statues, the statues of Mr. Guilt, um, they can be smashed and they open portals to other areas. So there's that'll be the last one percent probably. I never found out what was over here too. There's, there's still more to explore and discover and stuff. Um, that's that's going to wait till another time. Maybe maybe next time I will, you know, fly, I get reach the true ending. I mean, if I'd known that that's what the Immaculate Beat did, I, it sounds like it was, it's like really easy too. Like if I if I just if I just tried putting it in sometime. Um, I would have gotten it easily, you know, just just leave it in there for a while until I accidentally die, and, you know, and then I go, oh, it changed. Um, eh. Oh well. Um, yeah, there's no point in raiding anyone, I don't think. Um, it's just, um, yeah, whatever. Uh, that's that's enough for now. Um, I I just wanted. I, it's like I said, it's been a few days since I've done any streaming. I wanted to get a stream in. So there you have it, um, <laughs> until next time.